Okay guys, uh, welcome back. So uh, today we'll be doing something different. We'll be looking at uh, the Canadian Computing Challenge problem J3. This problem is called harp tuning. And if you look at the harp, uh, they have um, strings labeled from A to T. And what it does is uh, it asks for this input, A, F, B plus 8, H, T minus 4. And we have to separate this into A, F, B plus 8 and H, T minus 4. So the sequence is going to be um, a tuning instruction followed by a sequence of arbitrary letters like this, A, F, B. And then it's going to have either plus or minus representing if you want to tighten it or you want to loosen it. And if you tighten it, it's going to be a plus. If you loosen it, it's going to be a minus. And lastly, there's going to be a number at the end. So in this case, it's eight. In this other case, it's four. And if you want to get all uh, 15 marks, you have to be able to translate something like this into, uh, it's going to look like AFB, Titan 88. And then in a new line, you'll, you'll have to put HC, loosen 444, up to 999,999 uh, turns for this last number. So this is a sample input and it'll come out like this. Uh, I've, you can see that I've used idle here and we've did this print hello function just to see that it's working properly and it is. And this is Python 3 by the way. So um, let's go back here and this uh, problem might be a bit difficult to dissect at first, but uh, let's just see what we know, all right? So what we know is that it's going to be one line of input. So let's just start there, input equals input. So this variable can be anything, uh, but I'm just going to use imp. I'm just going to use imp for now. Okay. So what's our job here in this program? Our job is to separate this, right? AFB plus eight and HC minus four. So we have to detect when it's a new line, when it's a new instruction. And the way we're going to do that is, uh, I'm just going to show you this thing. So. This only happens when it's a number followed by a letter. So here in 8s, we know there's going to be a break between 8 and s. Here in 4h, we know there's going to be a break between 4 and h. And we this becomes afb plus 8, sc minus 4, h minus 2. And with two g's here, uh, if you break between 2 and g, it becomes gdpe plus 9. So that's where we'll start, right? So how exactly can you detect if it's a letter or if it's a number? Well, first things first, we can see that uh, it's always going to be an uppercase letter, right? So let's just make a, an array called letters and let's just put all the letters in uppercase. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, B. So only up to T because the harp only goes to T, right? So let's do numbers now. And again, it's just one, two, three, four, eight, nine, just like that. Okay, so now we're going to dissect this input and we're going to check for breaks. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to uh, convert this input to a list first and you'll see why later. And for i in range uh, len, input if i so we want to check if it's a letter and if the 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 index behind the letter is a number so if, if i if imp i in letters if imp i minus one in numbers then what we're going to do now is we want to be able to put a break, right? And that's a bit difficult to do. So for now, we're just going to put uh, inf i, no, inf dot insert. So this is why we need a list because you can't really use insert on a normal string. So inf dot insert, and we're, we have to put the index number. So it's going to be i, and let's just put a distinctive character, something like an asterisk. So let's print it out now. I'm 
gonna run it and uh, let's try to use this one as an example afb plus 8 hc minus 4 afb plus 8 hc minus 4 so you can see it separates it perfectly there's a star there there's a hc minus 4 there except for this thing at the start that we don't really want and this happens because if i is 0 uh, if you ask for i minus 1 like in here it's going to jump to the last element of the list and it counts right so we're just going to remove the first element for now so, no not for now we're, we are going to remove the first element so either pop uh, 0 0 inp.pop0 so let's run that again i'm just going to copy paste it this time and we can see that it works now okay so now we kind of ha have uh, a bit right we kind of know what's going on and let's convert it back to a string because that's really what uh, we're trying to output right we're trying to output a string so let's do inp equals stir inp now from here it's kind of straightforward what to do we want to replace the plus with titan we want to replace the minus with lucin and we want to replace the asterisk with a slash n a backslash n which just kind of does enter you know so it makes a new line because we want the output to be in new lines like this so we'll just do inp dot replace and how this works is uh, we're going to put the the thing we want to replace and what we want to replace it by so we'll put titan here i'm just going to copy paste this inp minus loosen and this with the asterisk we just want to replace it with this so let's try again i'm going to copy paste this this time oh actually that really shouldn't all right yeah oh oops guys i messed up so you're not actually supposed to do this so that doesn't really work you just have to transfer it one by one so let's just make a variable called stir string goes like that and you just have to use a for loop and iterate through every element in the list and add it to the string so we'll just do for i in int uh, stir string plus equals plus equals plus equals i just like that and we are going to replace this with string instead of int and we're going to print a string so let's try it again oh and i messed up with the replace function there so we have to do that and you know this probably isn't the best way to do the code but i think it works so we'll try it once more AFB Titan 8 HC Lucent 4. So you can see we're almost done here. We just need to add a space there. So it will be exactly like what they want the output to be. So let's try it with this one. AFB plus 8 SC. AFB plus 8 SC minus 4. H minus 2. GDPE plus, and um, you know, since if you want to get all 15 marks you you got to do all the way up to here 99999 nine, 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 nine. they just do that yeah and you can see that it works perfectly afb titan 8 sc lucin 4 h lucin 2 and gdpe titan 99999 so that's it guys uh that's problem j3 for the canadian computing competition and thanks for watching